And I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky, I'll be there for better or worse. Till death do us part, I'll be there with every part of my heart. Not the words. Oh, hi. I am here, very, very much here, and awake and aloud. And I almost fell during that. Oh. Oh. And I can hear myself. Hi, how's it going? Yeah. <coughs> so, tonight. Tonight I need to update the uh, title. But tonight we are going to finish off the caravan dancer map which has which I think has the highest level spatial rift map in the game experience oh no I don't like I don't like it when it says experience check oh no 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 <laughs> anyway it's gonna have the highest level map in the game I believe and this I would not be surprised for surprise if this map takes the entirety of our night tonight, considering what I'm reading and what I'm worried might actually be happening. The earn more experience is bad, but we'll also take more damage. Oh. Uh, okay. What do I have to do? Go to town, approach the first stranger you see, and make their acquaintance. Olivia, please. Go to town, talk to the first person you see, and don't make an utter buffoon of yourself. You just ask her to do the impossible. Unless she can talk through dance. Okay. What am I here with? First of all... Am I locked off from Frederick? No, he is on the map. Again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Roger. Hmm? All right, Tiki, you, it's been fun, but I'm gonna need you on this map. Anna, you trade off for Sita. Rowan, you can stay. Cordelia, you trade off for. Uh. Stop working. How? Okay, you know what? Let's just go for this. Let's try for a better swordsman. Yes. Yes. Oh no, I meant to swap for a better swordsman. Leave it to me. Yes, understood. Like that. That's how we do it. Now here's the hope, here's the hope that all I have to do is clear the map and it'll be simple and easy and fun and drink. I wish there was any other way. Anyway, how goes, how goes your evening folks? Has it been an eve? Has it been a day? I don't know what's in store for us here. Exercise caution. I can breathe easier knowing I'm I know my day has been nice and odd. It's fun waking up in the morning, checking your bank account and going, Oh, I didn't get paid today. And then contemplating if you want to go to work because you didn't get paid. Hello, Torta.
Oh, hold on, there's someone back here. So, kind of reiterate what I said uh, just a second ago. I woke up today, and the first thing I do on my payday is I check my bank. Oh, you got an interview today. Nice. Wait, interview as in, like, via television or via YouTube talent? You get it. Like, actual job or news slash what do you do with your life? I hope you know what I'm trying to say, because I, I am, how you say, a lyrical wordsmith. Actual job, okay. Well, hey, you got, you at least got your foot in the door, if they considered you, at le for the very least, for an interview. That means you, that means you cleared, like, that means you, like, you hit a 25% ch chance, really, because they throw out, they pick, like, they look through, I think from what it is, is, they look, at about a thousand applications, roughly, not an exact number by the way, they look at about a thousand applications and pick up about a hundred out of that, then out of that they pick about ten for a second interview and then they make their decisions based on that one. Welcome to the job market, you go through like five interviews and you might not even get the job after the fifth one. America's dumb. <laughs> But yeah, um, now, but we're gonna go back to story time. So, uh, like I said, every Thursday is my payday while I'm work when I am working at my current job. So you would think it makes sense that, hey, I'm waking up, I should check my bank account, see if I got paid today, right? So I go look, and keep on, this is the first full week of work I've had since I went returned to work. So I've been scratching by but I've been able to I've been able to level out. So I go I go up to I go to work and I look and I flip through or I get wake up and I and I check my computer as I make sure a render I set to go overnight finished properly. And then I go look at my bank account's like, oh I did not get my paycheck put in my bank account today. Huh do I bother going to work? I do because I'm already up and it's Thursday. It'd be dumb not to go in on a Thursday. But then I get to work and occasionally throughout the day I check my I check my bank account and see if like it was just an error. I still am not paid by lunchtime. And now I'm sitting there go telling people I'm working with, okay. So I still haven't got paid for last week. And a couple other people I was working with had the same issue. Like, we hadn't gotten paid for last week's work. It's like, oh, this is fun. Okay, I'm going to let it go to the end of the day because maybe they fell behind or something. I'm going to give them the benefit of a doubt because they're always on time. So I go to the end of the day. Hold on, I got to check something. Yeah, okay, we're doing pretty good. So I go to, I get to the end of the day. I get to the, I get to like two th two thirty when I take my last break and I get off work at two uh, I get off work at three o'clock and I and between lunch and two thirty I've been telling other people that are directly related to my job hey worst case scenario right now if I don't get paid by the time I, I leave for the day don't expect me to come into if I don't get paid by tomorrow morning don't expect me to come in tomorrow. And I'm telling this all to like my direct coworkers just so they're not held out on a limb. But yeah, so I check my I check my bank account once again at 2:30 ish, somewhere around there. And turns out, lo and behold, I got paid. So I was like, okay. So I make a follow up to that, it basically everywhere where I can. It's like, okay, I got paid. I'll be here tomorrow. 
Less of the story and why I told it. Work your job, but if they decide they're going to try and take you for a free ride, d decide to tell them that no, no free rides are here. Oh god, I am dying. Uh, I never took that fort, did I? Oops. Hold on, I got this. Thankfully, I had a little bit of my sword away, so I've been able to pay my bills and all that stuff, yada yada, so on and so forth. But it's, it's just a scary moment, it's just like, when you go go look at your bank account, you're like, I should have got paid. Flip it open, I didn't get paid. Fuck. Huh. <laughs> oh. So now that I'm done with personal drama, and congratulating Torda on his new jobe, how is the folks of the interwebs doing? Okay, well I can just go finish it. I don't need to go over there. I could get more experience though. You know what? Let's go for... I'm... I have seven minutes before I have to start worrying about fighting the main base guy. I'm going to go clear the map. Which isn't going to be too much, but I'm going to clear it anyway. But when they say increased experience, that makes me think that this would be a great pla a better place to grind than Infernal Mode. Well, that's just my head thing. Okay. So funny thing, and and I, I don't mean to call her out, but I know you're lurking in there. So I know I know you're lurking in there, Gaia. So today, I almost I I got one, but I almost convinced I almost convinced two people to buy this game today. Almost, I think that's a personal rec new record. To even, well, to keep even one person to buy something. I almost convinced Gaia, but apparently Mario and Ra Mario and Rabbids is on on dummy sale right now. Gold Gold Edition, less than the, less than the base game. Which that includes all the DLC, current and forthcoming. But yeah, I, um, he was here once a couple weeks ago, but I, I convinced the Harl Coon to buy the game, and he has this game in his possession now. I think, I don't know if she's, fo can, I can, if she's focused on this or focused on something else, but I think Gaia will tell you, will tell you the exact price if I'm wrong, but I believe she said gold edition of Mario and Rabbids is $44, where the base game is 60 Again, I use the term dummy sale. Oh god. I have already cleared this map out, so I've got five and a half minutes to kill Marth. This will go pretty easy. Yep, 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 I missed. That's also so. Sorry, I'm just kind of going through the things that I have. God damn, it's a Bellasark map. Uh, where's the open area for him? Is it? It's there, isn't it? On the left. Okay, don't give me though.
Uh, yep, call that. I hate when I call it, by the way. Alright, it's not going to deal enough, but here's the hope. Okay, Valazar. Catch all this. So yeah, I, I pop, I went, I run down the line of things I have coming up here at the end of the month, and I go, oh god, oh, oh god, oh god. I think I just remembered a fourth one too, actually. So, the Octo Expansion is currently out, right? So, that's out now. Fine. Tuesday, the Mario and Rabbids uh, DLC comes out. Uh, Tuesday, the Mario and Rabbids DLC comes out. And I'm looking to play all of that Rabbid Kong revenge stuff. Then... Two days after that, uh, tennis comes out, and somewhere in that mix, somewhere in that glorious mix, somewhere in that glorious mix of chaos, uh, Crash comes out on Switch. Bump. The end of June looking kind of packed. Oh god. Well, I thought that was gonna be the hardest map. Turns out it was easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ooh, lemon squeezy. Seems like I'm pushing you into the deep end, but it's a proven method. But... Don't give up on me already. I put considerable effort into planning my aid. We cannot have all that effort go to waste now. I can't believe he's making me do this. Well, that became easy. Go into the camp. Welcome. Because Olivia... I plan it out ahead. Olivia is ready. Is right? Olivia's sword is now 720 power. Why? Because I can. Now, who was struggling? Niles was the last one struggling. And now we're not struggling. So Niles is level 100. We can move on to the next target. Which is Minerva. Which Who doesn't have too far to go. Then we have Lind, who also doesn't have very far to go. Then Owain and Tharja, who have about a five mile sprint ahead of them. Come back soon. Anyway. Timed onslaught. Wait, was it? Fates Heroes. Olivia, it's the enemy. Please, you have to help me fight. They'll all die without you. I think I overhyped the, these two spatial distortions. The one I did, I did fail, did off camera and all that jazz. That was probably the hardest spatial distortion, which is basically, oh by the way, you have to over level for this mission. You have to use somebody who can, who has, you have to use somebody with gale force who can hit millions of targets at once. Put me in. Uh, let's see. Lots of damage. <laughs> this will be fun. Hmm. Okay, you know what? We'll run with it. How's this? Let's go. Cause all we're gonna do is stomp the yard. It's a timed onslaught, so I just the plan is to stomp the yard. You know what? I said that. You know what movie I want to watch now? I want to watch Drumline again.
I hate that this is the winning strat. Xander says, or Xander? Rioma says I'm safe. I don't trust him. Uh oh, oh, uh, uh, arrows! Don't touch me. Oh! We're just after, what was it? 2,000 kills in 5 minutes? Okay. Time to onslaught, not kill, get up to a certain number. Hold on. Need to stop, slice him through, activate the boost, have her do a very provocative pose because it's Camilla, and proceed to slam. Don't worry, it, it's going to make sense in time. Just watch that number in the lower quarter climb while I do this. Did a little off, did a little off kilter. said so many times, Camilla could have been an amazing character. But they decided at lull titty. Titty and incest. Ow. Rude. Okay, I want this juice because I'm going to go in on all these archers right now. It's like they knew what was the best strategy for defeating many enemies and decided to put the one thing that counters it. Oh. Uh, take the lock off hog. Okay, that's nice. Okay, uh, have fun talking to me. I'm just gonna kill dudes. I care not about your silly biscuits. If you want to chase me over here, fine, but I am not targeting you anymore. How'd we do? Cleared it. <laughs> Cleared the S rank. I don't even know what I'm getting from S rank. I think I'm just getting a Sun Festival. I think I'm literally getting this S rank for the sake of having an S rank. I'm not even getting it for anything useful. No, talk to me bad. We talked about this. Ah, ha, ha! Leaving now. Anybody, anybody drop some health? Anybody drop any health? Okay, cool. And that's how they balance the game.
Okay, whatever, that's... That was an easy 2,000. Which makes you wonder why I don't do that with every map, but, uh, I'm not. Because even my eyes can only take so much of, oh boy, back-flipping Wyvern Rider. Ooh. Yeah, I just did this all for a great festival. And hey, Caravan Dancer is clear. Map complete! Don't care. Alright, let's check back in with the Dark Hero. Now let's see. I'm looking around because I want to see where there's Lissa's axe right there. Can I get there? No, I'm blocked off by this y fence. Let's see, the a her axe scroll. Uh, Mistletane is up there, but I have to rendezvous with Owain. Mistletane scroll. So Owain to Sita, to Lissa, to Navar. Great. Great. All right, I did. I look over here. Yes, I did. Well, I have to go here next. So. Control yourself. Power too great. Can't contain it. Uh, sorry to interrupt your conversation, but I have a question about your stance. It's clearly from the royal house of Elise. By the gods, old and new, another future traveler. Who are you, villain? Speak! Um, I'm Krog of Elise. If we must fight, then... Uncle Krog? Uncle? N never mind that for now. Can you fight, or do you just talk a lot? My medal in combat is the stuff of legend. Bards sing tales of my... Hey, wait! Uncle Krog! Uncle Crum, Uncle Crumble Cake, Crum, please. Uh. Anyway, so recruiter defeat all. Map deployment. It's load up. All right. So I have to go in with Lynn, but here's something we have to check because I want to see if I can get this. All right. So set character. Lind. Lind, what is your support levels? Because you need two S ranks. Rowan, Liana. Pretty much everybody but Lindis, isn't it? Yep. Well, let me double check that. Okay, I think we're fine with everybody here for Lind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Oh, you are there. I thought I heard something. Oof. I'm assuming consumption is happening because so, I can't quite hear you right now. Uh, it's better. I turned you up a little bit too, so. Hello. Hi. World Cup started today. Oh, so, uh, football? Football. I had to, like, double take and actually stop myself from saying soccer. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I. Which, whatever. What? Alright, and then Celica. Yeah. First game was today Russia versus Saudi Arabia. Uh, Russia won 5 0. Oof. Big Really McGoofies. big oof. Big McGoofies. Tell me you don't have any support with... Fuck, of course you have support with Lissa. 
What about Elise? What is All right, no love with Elise yet. Don't don't read in that. Basically, I'm try. I still have my notes from last night. I'm trying to get the two silvers for Lind and Celica, so their weapons can be super beefy as well. But I finished the caravan dancer, so now it's just it's just a uh, beat Owain senseless till he stops screaming, Uncle Crom. Ow. 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 Lovely. So I should I should have followed up on that. My if you couldn't tell, my social graces are always at an old time low. What was the what was the uh, end end result of that? Or is that still going? I wish there was any other way. Football? Hello. Confirm football's a dead sport. We don't we don't watch football. We we don't watch football. We watch football. I could breathe easier knowing I have you backing me up. Your life is precious. Please don't throw it away. Sport is ours. <laughs> Oh, you know, forgive the terrible terminology, but you know what? What would have gotten everybody just? Oh, excuse me, gotten everybody just full on rock hard for the app with the Nintendo Direct besides Smash. They just and then they just went, oh yeah, and Mario Strike and another Mario Strikers game. Ha! <laughs> Wait, really? No. Oh. I'm saying Sorry, like. Sorry, I was only half listening. Like that was basically like the if Nintendo wanted to wanted to blow everyone's blow everyone away at E3, they could have just dropped that on us. Cause like a lot of people play a lot of people play Smash, Mario, or one of the various Mario sports games. But yeah, I was. Asking, do you know the end result of of that football match, or not, or is it still going? I am just slightly sad. Our time with this game is probably coming to an end with the next few streams. I said I 
get it done, and I meant it. It's just in time for you to get a copy of a true Fire Emblem game and play it on stream. It's not coming out till next year. <laughs> well, I didn't mean three Radiant. houses. I was thinking like Radiant Dawn or like. Uh, I don't think you have a recording 3DS. Well, no, you can I do. Stream on. I do. You do? Oh, then you could do one of the other ones. Yeah. Like I know you're like, Ugh, I I know you have told me that you aren't very good at strategy games. Like okay, the thing is, I say that I say I'm bad at strategy games. Yet I have 100% completed Mario and Rabbids, so I'm not sure how true that claim actually is. I think you like Awakening a lot. Like if I'll scour the internet, like if you if you remind me enough, I'll scour the internet one of these nights, and I'll see if I can't find a used copy for on the cheap, or if I can stop at my one of my local used game stores and find a copy on the cheap. Uh, Just, you will become one of us. Let's go. Okay. You should clarify that, because here's the thing. I don't hate the characters, I don't hate the stories, I don't hate anything. I hate. Well, you hate Fate's story, but that's because Fate's story is bad. <laughs> but, I... What I do hate... Uh, I'm gonna just make enemies so I keep talking about. What I do hate is the tactics game. The thing I am the better stat. Well, you can play in casual mode. I'll probably still lose, being honest. Well, casual mode is like you know how Fire Emblem's thing is a unit dies, it dies forever. Yes. Casual mode is j just kidding. Well, I mean that's in this game too. Oddly enough, there is a uh, classic mode in in this game. But yeah, Russia 5 nil. That's what I was asking earlier. <laughs> what was what? Sorry. I, I asked, I'm, I'm I asked watching you match highlights because oh. I can't really watch a sports game that starts at 8 a.m. Uh, when I don't have cable. Okay. That, that I was asking that. I was just asking what was the final score, and I asked it twice, and I got nothing back. Oh. I thought the first thing I said when I came in was 5 nil. That's the thing I didn't hear, because slight tired, or not tiredness, quietness. That's words. But it's like, man, World Cup is really cool. Shame it's in Russia, and so the game start at like 5 a.m. my local time. Uh... Yeah, I get 7 a.m. Guess what? I'm at work. I punch in 7 o'clock. Game starts. Oof. I keep trying, like, I don't know if it's just because I'm always working on something else or because I'm actually at jo at my job when it happens, but I always try, like, I try my best to catch for the World the world Soccer Series, but I just never do. I catch, like, 30 minutes of a game at best, and that's it for the whole thing. <laughs> I see enemy reinforcements. Let's go. Cause I'm pretty sure I could get into I'm pretty sure I could get into watching soccer. I'm just need the time to actually be able to watch soccer. <laughs> Which ball? Fuck it. Doesn't matter. I mean I do it as a joke, but I do also call American football hand egg, so. <laughs> you were a worthy opponent. Either Hold something, on. something funny happened in the game. I got this choice still of Putin that I have to get. Like after he scored, they Russia scored the fifth goal. I, I gotta get this screen cap, dude. Gotta get that Putin rep. I'll get targeted by the deep web mafia, but it'll be worth it. 
and print screen. Fuck, that was fast! <laughs> Open door, please. Rowan, please. I like those profit margins. Rowan bleeds. Talking about your still, I'm talking about Rowan taking his sweet ass time to open his fucking cell cage. Rage in the cage, walk in, press A. <laughs> okay, that's actually alright. I we're you need to find a way to spread that still, because I think there is some potential hiding in that one. What? You need to find a way to spread that still around, because there is potential in that. Hashtag I big I don't want to get any more targeted by the deep web mafia. I should just be happy she has such a devoted son. Hooray! I just love how this entire history map, it's just playing the lol it's a joke track the entire time. I love this quest. I don't even care what I've got. <laughs> I don't even care what's equipped on anybody right now. It's just sword. It's just go in, press buttons, defeat dudes, win. Level 145 will do that. Oof, the edge. And he walked right past me. Grand. No, 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 no. What do you think you're doing? Hey, hey, hey. Out. My house. Oh, that was our first battle intro and I skipped it. Oops. Oh, 
I, I'm a bad man. Also, I should definitely minimize this so I can see what's going on on the other parts of the internet. So I'm just on Discord. Also, that's like the weirdest thing. Like, I, I know technology keeps updating and all that jazz, but that's always just something weird to think about when you stop and think about it. It's just like. A, a year and a half, two years ago, everybody used Skype, no questions. Now, it's like, you don't have Discord? Okay, hi, Mr. Caveman. Just very odd. Very odd indeed. There he is. Okay. Anna, where are you showing up? Because I got that thousand kill mark. Sure, you will. No, no fort attacking for you today. Frederick spawned on her, so that means right up here. Or she spawned on Frederick, rather. There we go. Done. And now to claim those millions and millions of fresh bodies. Yep. Okay, I can just go finish. I need any help AI Frederick or not control Frederick it's over he's got nothing surrounding him maps over game Sorry. 
there's a frost cut spider. Let's take one minute. handle this like a humane adult. We get the vacuum cleaner out and we suck him up so he can't run away. Or he could just be forever dead in the crack. No, he's just forever dead in the crack then. I'm a common. I return. Sorry, I, I'm not a fan of sharing sharing my apartment with a small creature with eight legs. And then go back in for the double up. Uh, 1200, okay. How's the Let's go. Fair enough, 1200 kills. Easy job. Especially with ruffians running around the place. I was going to say, sure, be shame if you started moving, Mr. Ruffian. No oh, there's another one back here. Wow, I'm now into a fighter. Bust out some some Star Wars BS. There we go. And I'll just uh, grind up the 1200 kills. Whee!
Da, 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 there we go. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Alright, I've taken care. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Get this, go back to Navarre, beat Navarre, finish with the map. care for majority of that BS. So strong. Perfect. And that's a dead map. I just uh, slayed the entire map. It no longer exists. Awesome. God damn it, you've been trying so long. Didn't even intend to get S rank. Oops. So that's map stunt. Jesus, I left the level 18 level so far in the bat in the front. Back front. Front to the back. Back to back, can we get it on track? <laughs> Often overstated, Sonic Rush, good game! Okay. Try this again. Land. Put me in. And. Celica. May Mila be with us. Cows, let's go. That should pump out two more. I want to get, like, all the silvers. Silver so run. Well, that's gold. Oh. Uh, <sighs> Mission starting. Are you fully prepared? 
I don't care. I will take the traps. It'd really just be going through the motions. And that's a Hinoka trying to assault my base. No more. Go take your nap. And I have to go save the boys. So I guess the My Hero Academia fighting game was at E3. Yep. Uh, it looked pretty fun. It's got everybody's new favorite character. I don't even know her name, but she's a villain. Koga's a pretty good character. She's fun and interesting. Also Maybe I just like Yans, but... Uh, I was about to say, also hashtag cute girl. You have a character to play as? I mean, I like every character in My Hero, except Mineta, but he's not going to be playable, so whatever. Thank God. And then also in DLC! Actually, I... Did I show you guys my Hiroaka character tier list? In terms of like which characters are good and which ones aren't? I don't think you've shown me. I will unless you unless we're talking like from the most recent arc of Kidnap Bakugo, I think is his name. Spoilers, by the way. Ask me fucks I give. But yeah, I got bored, so I made a it wasn't like every character, it was only like Deku and his classmates tier list. Fair enough. But I got bored, so I made it. I'm pretty proud of it. Here, I'll send you the picture because I'm super proud of how it turned out. Okay. So, who is your number one? Why is it an Ochako? <laughs> it's not. It's not Ochako. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sad thing. But whatever. The ordering in the tiers is like, not in any order. It's about, just like left or right is how strongly I be believe they deserve to be in that tier. I like it because it's just 
bad. One person. <laughs> Yeah, evidently, Uraraka assist is OP though, so I guess I have to play as her anyway. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay. Like a lot of the like. Okay, I understand. Uh, I can never remember her actual name, but ass assist girl. Ashley. She is, she is Wait, pretty assist good. assist girl. She's basically the girl with the targeting, uh, the target reticle eyes. Ah, Hatsume Me. I stuck her in there as kind of a joke because she's my favorite, favorite character, but she's not in Class A, so she shouldn't be there. But, but I put her there anyway. Cause but she funny. shows up enough that she mm -hmm. should be considered part of that class. <laughs> she's great. She doesn't even show up that much. She's just great. She's, you could say. Amazing. Oh yeah, an excuse to use that that entire joke. What? Nothing. Okay. Level My hero is good. I want to stop talking about it now because I know some people don't care about anime. I will say because you said amazing, and I was just like, I think it's been a solid five months since I played Overwatch, if not That's more. Fair. No, I think it's been longer now, because I haven't even... I I played, like, one match as Moira, and I haven't even seen Brigetta yet. It's not fun playing the game with Brigitte in it. Brigitte, sorry. I don't know why I said Bridget. <laughs> Because even if they do nerf her, from what I understand, she still wins every 1v1. <laughs> well, it's kind of like the definition. She's the definition of a character who just does too much. I think she might be okay if they made it so. Uh, uh, she has a passive where whenever she does damage with her melee, uh, it heals her and everyone on her allies for like a bit of health. I think if they made it so it only healed allies and didn't heal her, she'd be in a better spot. But as it stands now, it's just like... This character is a support tank that can also one-shot DPS characters. Fun! Usually not a good thing if you have to co coordinate your entire team to take down one character. Like, you shouldn't go, oh, I have the jump on this character. I'm going to win, and not. Games have to be good, don't they? Sigh. It really, it really be your own. Say there's just at this point there's really only one game I don't or I haven't already purchased that has been shown off at E3 from Nintendo that I want to wait to see if, if it actually is good that uh Damon X Machina game. I 
I'm asleep. Frederick got beef. Yeah, I can't win this. Get to the extraction port, thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> I just realized, realized my impeccable English skills. Now, let's begin. Did you know the Dirk hero rises? Mission starting. When I have to highlight this, I'm not going to change that title. It's still going to be whatever it was when it started. <laughs> complete get all the weapons and tell me we got some level ups coming or some supports no support all right experience check it is Oh, kill 2,000 dudes in, in five minutes. All right, simple. Oh, so there's a little bit of a... Okay, noted. Defeat multiple captains, now what? One captain down. I can't win this. I've beaten better than you. Mission Nope, he didn't get away. Yeah, 
And it is Lissa. Of course, Lissa. Please. Whoever wins, no hard feelings. No hesitation. Boom. Is it? Oh, okay, 1400. Huh. Might actually be a, little, be a little rough to get the kill count this time. And Hinoka after me, so now I have to send. Now I have to. Oh, Sakura's here too. Now we have 2,000. There we go. Did, did I just... I feel like I just did this one. Did I just do this one? I think I did already do this one. No, wait. It's seven minutes now. Maybe I didn't. Bad design choice. I can't remember if I did this mission already. Thank you. 
There we go. Once again, I'm being forced to beat up Elise. Okay. 2,000 kills confirmed. 2,000 confirmed kills. Well.
win this. Anyone else want to fight? Transfer you've just been sitting up here this whole time watching this thing get slaughtered. Yeah, I can, I can definitely tell I'm on a downhill slight energy-wise. So I think, I won't end it quite yet, but I, I'll go until the top of the hour, and then that's probably when I'll end the stream tonight. Much shorter than most, but I'm just very, very tired. What's your streaming? Take a wild guess. How much more of this game do you have to do? I'm on about one and two thirds history maps left. And then I'm just done. Then it's time to move on to Hyrule Warriors. I saw it in a store today and it was 60 bucks. Like, nah, I already have all that in the Wii U version. I'm good. Or time to move on to Dragon Quest Warriors. One or two. <laughs> Both. Apparently, two is supposed to be really good. Two? Okay, I play a little bit of two. Like, one is traditional warrior style where yeah. you're plopped on a map, do the mission, that's it, and then you just do menus. Two feels more like a traditional Dragon Warrior game where you actually do ha where you actually do walk around the map. Walk you around mean the Dragon map. Quest? It's like Dragon Quest, excuse me. Dragon Warrior was the I was localized name. I was partially right. <laughs> Dragon Warrior is the bastardization of it. But yes, Dragon Quest Two is like your Dragon Dragon Quest Warrior. Dragon Quest Warriors Two. Is like Dragon Quest in that you do have to traverse the entire open world landscape, and if occasionally it has roadblocks that put you on maps, but you can also battle enemies on that old world while you're running without transitioning. It's like a best of both worlds game because they managed to bring in the full RPG explore the world aspect of that game. Yeah, I've heard it. I've been wanting to pick it up at the point. I forget if it's come to Switch. It was supposed to. It might have come out in Japan. I've got it on PC, so... Two-player? Uh, Dragon Quest... Sorry, not Warriors. It's Dragon Quest Heroes. But... Heroes is the fire of the mobile... Fire of... Fuck! <laughs> Technically, that came out of words. God! Yeah, the Switch version came out in Japan, but not. Well, it sucks. I think that was supposed to have, uh, like, everything. Alright, that was supposed to have both games on it. Excuse me. Yeah, PC version has everything. 
I'm at both games. It's supposed to be on like one part uh. on the switch for the Switch version. Oh no, a thief is stealing the gold. That's... Is gold even a thing in this game? No, you can't steal weapons or things. That's a shame. You can't take someone hostage and take all their stuff? No, that'd be dumb. Neat, or true to the series, because series, but dumb, because it would basically make you lose a character in a game about switching characters to handle objectives quicker. Mm. Dead, dead or deadsies. Oh, Lissa, please tell me you are competent enough to defeat whatever the hell it is in the base. Nope. Nope, gotta eat dirt now. Oh, I was joking. You didn't actually have to eat dirt, Lissa. God damn it. Listen. I'm listening. Why? Because you said listen. Nah. Lissa has decided eating paste is now her pastime. I thought you said dirt. I did initially say to her, then I had to degrade her. I don't know, paste is technically better for you than dirt. Either way, I... Okay, no, I actually, I don't... I can't feel sorry for Owen. In the history map where I'm literally getting him mistletane, I cannot feel sorry for him. Pretty sure Mistletane is literally just a sword he found in the middle of no, just randomly and named it. That's pretty much what's happening here. Is I'm looking for Mistletane out, out in this open landscape. Wait, if you find Mistletane, let me use it. As he as he as he keeps shouting. Uncle Crom, wait! the rally captain strengthening the shadows. I want to take forts. Okay. But why are you just here trying to take my base? It's his base now. Bad Hinoka. Well, her base. Still alive? Impressive. Again. And problem has been solved. This wasn't the plan. Not bad. But not good enough. Mission complete. Fort is out. I'll defend this fort. You see the East Alcove? Listen, I don't make the names, I just play the game. I think you just seized their broom closet. 
Could you not touch that? That's where we keep the brooms. Mine now. I can use this as a spear. Is that a ba- okay, I, I don't think there are wood weapons, but if there was, would that basically be- There are... joke weapons, technically. Like, it would be a log in this case. Aww. Why no bug catching net? Cause Do you really think they would have bug catching nets back then? I was about to say, that's where- I was gonna say, that's where you're supposed to tell me, Scooter, no. We're not playing Soul Calibur 2. Open door, please. Mission Open door, please. Mission door. Open up. Open up. Door. Open door, please. Try that again. Open door, please. Open door. Door. Door, please. I need more water. Mission complete. Good job, folks. Alright. Ooh boy, Amped Tome. Now I can make people super excited to fight. Alright, cool. Well, that's a plus. All the Celica stuff. Celica's not done. Who's left to be finished? Um, I gotta get two silvers for Lind. Lissa and Owain have their weapons on this map. I think Cordelia's scrolls on this map too. Mm. Like Cordelia got the got shafted in this one because her stuff, her weapons and stuff, they're just spread across all their history maps. Like her spear was in DLC pack one, her scroll is in DLC pack three, and I think something was somewhere else for her. Wait, did she come from a DLC pack originally? No. <laughs> then how can her stuff be hidden in DLC? I think what happened was when the DLC came out and you launch it, it calculates what you have done in the DLC yet or not, and it reappropriates unlockables amongst that. Which one? Uh, that's dumb. It is really dumb. Hey, Lady Sword does damage. And now, to do a little bit of... Oh yeah, Olivia's blade is powered up now too. <laughs> what do we have left? We have to find the Opus for the Fascina. The Exalted Falchion, Parallel Falchion, and get Owen his sword. So we don't have that many... We, we actually literally have four weapons left.
Ah, screw it. Sell the tome. Now what is... Okay, so Minerva, how close can we get you? Up to level ninety. Nice. I this strength stat's gonna be disgusting. Hundred and twenty one. A whopping 121 strength with 24 resistance. Also, because it's come to mind. Which one? Uh. Let's see, okay? you're gonna need this. And you're gonna need that IO shield. This okay? Success. Thank you much. Uh, let's... God damn it! Levels are all over the place. Level fourteen. Level twenty-six. Level one hundred fourteen. I think we'll do this mission, and then we'll go get Lissa's axe, and then probably call it a stream. But much shorter than normal. But I am very, very tired right now. Yeah, I slept like two hours tonight. I am exhausted. Uh, we may have had roughly the same same sleep schedule, except I didn't get out of bed. I just rolled for well, constantly all night. I blame you. We're nearly, not, not actually, we're nearly at opposite ends of this country. How? I blame you. You'd blame me if your hot dog got cold after you put it in the microwave. Why would I microwave my hot dog and not just grill it? I don't know, you're, maybe you're a troglodyte uh, barbarian like I am. You angered ceiling. See what you did? What did I do now? You angered ceiling. Did he post something? No, he left. Oh, I can't hear when he leaves. Streamer mode. Oh, right. Mode turns off all those sounds. He's watching football. Oh, right. World Cup is this week, isn't it? Yep. And it's in Russia. He was complaining about it earlier. It's in Russia, so like all the matches start at 5 a.m. your time. That's not that bad. Alright, level 146. It's always nice when it's like somewhere in our hemisphere. Uh, I. Now my issue is like all matches start right when, right when I punch in for work every day at 7. Mm -hmm. Like, I've always tried to watch... I always try to watch the World Cup, but it never works out. I mean, it's soccer. Football. It's football. It's football, not hand egg. It could be. No, we don't give it a time, the time of day. It could involve hands. And or if eggs. If you're the goalie. Okay, but aren't they just cheating at that point? It's soccer. FIFA is 
pretty much one of the most corrupt organizations in the world. I'll say. They somehow get EA to make a new game for them every year. A badum tish! Don't ask. Don't ask what the correlation is. I don't have one. I can't win this. I used a big boy word. FIFA? Correlation. Ah. Uh. Okay. There we go. How are you getting hurt that bad, my guy? Uh. Like he's... I just healed him, it's been three seconds, and he's... Oh, that's why. Okay. Enemy bigwigs decided to go visit my base while I'm out here killing their troops. Don't worry, my next stop is our base after I kill every enemy. Next stop is Arby's. We got the meats? I got says the meats. Takumi's still in the base. God damn it, Takumi. Get out of my house. That is not your house, it is my house. Now, leave this base and never return. I forget, does Lynn have a bride costume? No. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> um, also, yeah, Nera, uh, Lynn has her Swordmaster outfit from. Uh, it's Fates. She has her Swordmaster outfit from Fates at, um, that you can get from the Norda Market uh, map. It's an S rank unlock. It also makes her hair bluer than green. It might just be because of the art style of fates compared to her original game. It's not like the stills or anything. It's it's literally like her hair right like if once I get out of super mode it'll be much more easier to distinguish which I'm gonna do right now. Hi Corin. If you if you compare her hair right now to her picture in the upper left corner, her hair is bluer. Maybe she dyed it. Maybe the hair, the outfit is just bringing out a different color of her hair. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. Or maybe someone on the art team screwed up and nobody noticed. Someone on the art team screwed up and nobody noticed. I'm going to go with that one. Hi, Eddie. Oh, everybody's coming in. Now I feel happy to keep going. <laughs> I don't like how sometimes in anime some characters have six fingers. Or how sometimes in, in Awakening Anna has six fingers. Yeah. <laughs> no Official artwork, by the way. Not just a, not like some bogus fan thing. Official. I think that's fate, not... Awakening. 
I just know there is artwork of Anna out there that she has six fingers. Maybe she picked one up on her travel, okay? And sewed it on her hand. Where else would you put it? I was about to continue my question and I stopped myself but wait, this is Anna. If it got she her money, she probably did it. If, if it got her money, she probably did it for a profit. <laughs> Yeah, now if you look up Anna's official artwork in Fire Emblem Fates, she has six fingers on her hand. And nobody really caught it until like five years after the game came out or something silly like that. Tomato boy! Like somebody pointed out, yeah, now you see it. Yeah, like somebody pointed out and it spread around, and then I found out about it because Jay was of all people was like, she has. She made a joke. There's no way they would screw up the art direction that bad. There's no way she has six picture. Oh, oh my. Oh yeah, dear. she has six fingers. <laughs> Official, by the way. Apparently it happens a lot in the Phoenix Wright anime, too, where characters are drawn with six fingers. I would say that's an issue with counting, but don't... Can't... Like, aren't, like almost anybody... I mean, I can't count to... I can't count any higher than, like, one in Japanese, but can't, like, almost everybody count to ev ten in almost every language? <laughs> Uh, yeah, ten is the most basic thing in most languages, because we have ten fingers. So most math math uh, systems revolve around ten. Yes. Ten fingers, ten toes. We just kind of naturally gravitate towards... Also, uh, yeah, people are starting to see it. Yeah, that's gonna start popping back up again. And then I'm gonna get I'm just gonna get tweets like as soon as the stream is over or in the next five minutes, just like, You've ruined my imagery of this character for life. That's what ruined your imagery of this character. Not me, like people watching that we pointed this out to. Weren't we talking about how we are counting up to ten? Nero's uh, quoting Lethero. Ah. Uh, I never, I never learned how to count that high. Sesame Street only went to ten. <laughs> and Tempest is here. Everybody's showing up when I was debating ending early. Now I feel like I got, I've got to keep going. I'll go for, I'll go for my normal length tonight. No. Commit. Commit to not making content. No, I'm good. I really only have to make, like, sit down for five minutes after the stream and finish editing my next, my, an episode for my next series. No, uh, commit. Commit to what bit? To all the bits. I Why don't you tell the folks what your next series is going to be? Give them a reward for coming out to your stream. Okay. Hats. They're doing Team Fortress again? For the seventeenth time this year. It's vague enough and direct enough that I think people who some people will probably get get it right away. Oh, that reminds me. I should actually get this video processing. Yeah, I. Like, until you said something, I didn't piece together that you also use Power Director. I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah. But now that... I think I got it on sale so at some point. I mean, same. I think I got it... Uh, well, I keep on getting it on sale, but it's usually because I got the first version. So, it's like, here, mm -hmm. you got this. Here, occasionally, we'll give you a sale for, like... Normally, this $150 editing suite, you can have it for $40. bucks. <laughs> Eh. 
learned the hard way, it doesn't do green screen very well. Eh, that's fine. Hooray, Alyssa has an axe. Do it a record for me. <sighs> Tamal, record for me. <laughs> Tamal, record the Octo expansion for me. So. <laughs> you want me to record Octopath Traveler? That's not out yet. Big, big, big McOofies. Man, two big Octos in a, within a month of each other. Well, that's coming out end of July? Near beginning, 13th of July. Oh my god. Yo, June and July keeps getting po more powerful. Holy hell. Octopath Trav. I'm so glad they decided to keep the name Octopath Traveler. Yeah. Um, it's such a. It's such a weird Square name. Enix name. Yeah, it's a Squeenix. It's such a Square Enix name. It's such a unique name that nobody will confuse it for anything else, really. It's like Bravely Default. Nera, not only Tales of Vesperia Deluxe, but you're also in for that ride on Smash when it comes out a week beforehand. Yeah. I think I got the time frame mostly correct. I'm just glad Tales of Vesperia remake is... Or not remake, but... Re-release is coming out for uh, Switch, isn't it? It's coming out on every system. Well, not 3DS or, Vis or Vita, but every system. <laughs> Does it? So I'll confirm that if you're seeing that in chat. <laughs> A minute. But here's the thing. So, the Octo expansion for Splatoon came out yesterday. Tuesday, the, ex the DLC for Mario and Rabbids comes out. Two days after that, we're, we're playing tennis. Somewhere in that mix, Crash comes to Switch. And then two weeks later, Octopath. Where are we talking? Uh, yeah, talking. the first letter of every character in Octopath Traveler spells out Octopath. That's clever. I really like that. They like their puns and hiding things in the top. It seems like Team Bravely really likes hiding things in the title like that. Let's go. I think it's Team the Bravely oh, yeah. Default team that worked on this. Although I I ran into that more Nera. Um, Shulk and Fiora are in the challenges. They're or, played optional yeah. play, I think. Yes. Shook. Shook and Fora. Um, there was something else I was gonna mention, but of course I've blanked it. I can't win this. But yeah, technically, bravely, both bravely games have had. Pretty massive spoilers hidden in their title. Uh, like in the title or on the box art? In the title. The full title. Wow. Oh. <clears throat> no, what is it? I was just talking with one of our other friends who left while you guys were entering. I was saying, you know what? Nintendo could have just clinched and stolen all E3. You know how they had to do it? Say there's another Mario Strikers game coming. Instant money. They could have just said there's another Mario game coming. Or Zelda. Or more info on Metroid Prime 4. Or Animal Crossing. They could have just said a new game for any one of their big franchises that's coming. They would have made a lot of money. Actually, you know what? It just dawned on me. We didn't see a damn thing about Metroid Prime 4. No. It, I think last year when they first announced it, it was like really early in development. Like, just started. 
So we're probably not going to be hearing anything about that until either later this year or next year. Anyways, I'm gonna head off for now and grab some dinner. If you're still streaming, I'll be back. Alright, I'll probably be going for roughly another hour at this point. Okay. And I think that was him fleeing the country, aka the, the call. Oh, for there is still in the game. Good. remaking yes. remaking Xenoblade Chronicles One with that. Not only that, would they have to probably backdate the engine they have to make it reflect to basically make it reflect what it was, and so they don't ruin it the nostalgia for the nostalgia kitties. But they would also, like, they would have to change so They would basically would be making an entire... They'd basically be doing what Capcom is doing for Resident Evil. Well, Resident Evil 2, which is remaking the entire game from the ground up. That's a lot of art assets that they have to redo and a lot of textures and stuff. Feasible? Yes. Uh, no, er, makes money... Maybe not. What I'll say is, probably won't get a remake. Probably won't get a remake of Xenoblade Chronicles One. Like, good chance it won't happen. What I will say though is, I is by some stroke of luck, I, it doesn't have the cover and it doesn't have the manual, but I managed to get a copy of Xenoblade Chronicles 1 on Wii. So I have I have Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and not the weird 3DS remake that they pushed so hard over the original. Alright, I'm going to take a little digging. I'm going to go find this. Uh, enjoy this picture of Lynn just while I do it. Be nice in the chat because I can't see what you're doing. I know I have it. Where did I put the. <laughs> oh. Ah, found it. Ah. <sighs> Behave yourself. All right. I found it. I'm on the ground back here. So, here it is. You can't see it at all because it's shining off of my light, but it is in a GameStop case. Ugh, I found it at a GameStop. There it is. No manual, no nothing else. Delivered with just the disc. I want to, okay. I want to hear your price points. I want to hear what you think I paid for this. Just the game, no manual, no no cover.
I actually want to hear this because this will be interesting. I'll keep I'll keep it nearby while you guys play Price is Right with me. And I won't tell you the actual price until I see at least a couple guesses, because Nair's the only guess right now. Or at least I'll wait a minute. So Nair is holding at a hard 20, it looks like. Clip would load? What? So strong. No, I just got me confused. Alright. Alright. So I think I've got it. So. Xenoblade Chronicles. For we Just the game. No manual. No box art. Just the basic. Just the basic ass. Just the well. Here, I'll show you the inside. There you go, Eddie. That's all it is. Is just the disc. With, and I'm gonna cover it now. Just a basic ass GameStop cover. I I went out and found it in store. I didn't order it online or anything. Okay, that's enough guesses. That's enough work to do this. All right. So Nera is sitting at a hard 20. Eddie is sitting at 50. Eddie wins. Price is right rules still. So lo highest luck going over, Eddie wins. But Eddie's not close. I know it's backwards. $65. Mother Hubbard! <laughs> it's a good enough game that I and I had to spend all my money. Like you know what? I'm just gonna do it. So no 3DS version for me, boys. We play the real deal. We play for keeps. We play Pichu unironically because Pichu's good. Be nice to that boy when he when we get to play as him again. Don't be mean to Pichu again. If that was if that was like within the last year, Eddie, that would explain it. Because I think I picked this up. I think I picked up the copy I just showed you like five issues ago. I also picked up a copy of Munchables, which cost me twenty five dollars just the game, nothing else. Actually, yes, that was what it was. It was like five years ago. The 3DS version of the game had not been announced yet. Yeah, the 3DS version of Xenoblade Chronicles had not been announced yet, so the only way we get it was the Wii version, and it was a limited printing, so almost nobody had it. Now, I wonder if I could be lucky enough to find a copy of Dokapon Kingdom. <laughs> AKA, the best game ever made to play with friends. And also to lose friends, too, at the same time. I've played Dokapon Kingdom in its entirety. Yeah. Again, I think I was a victim of circumstance and the fact that uh, with the scenario I had surrounding it. But hey, it's not pretty, but it's a but it's a copy of the game. 
dude. Go look up on like GameStop or eBay. Dokapon Kingdom is even after the Runaway guys spread word of it, or even before they spread word of it, that was like a hundred dollars. I think it's still under. I'm gonna look it up though. I'm gonna go Amazon then eBay and see what I got. Dokapon Kingdom for PlayStation 2, $50. Not bad. For Wii, I'm seeing new at $300. And I'm seeing used at $115. Oof, can't be me. Like if I if I fall into if I fall into as I like to call it, fuck you money, I would still buy a copy of Dokapon Kingdom Used, just because it is an amazing game. I gotta look at I gotta I gotta take a minute and see what phone call I made or see what my dad wanted. I'll be just a minute. Dad tried to take me out to dinner tonight, and I did not hear my phone ring. <sighs> That's probably the only downside of working where I work. Is I cannot have my phone on, and because I don't, I don't want to mess around and, and uh, because I don't want to mess around and unmute and remute my phone constantly every day of the week, I miss phone calls. My place of work treats uh, having, because of how people have acted, my place of work has had to treat phone calls like you would in hi in a high school, where hey, if I catch you with your phone, disciplinary action. Because we have people there who can't understand you're here to work, you should work, not play with your cell phone.
thanks for cutting out sound for no reason. That means you tried to launch the audio tool. Nope, something else tried to launch though. Usually if I lose sound for half a minute, it's because something tried to launch in the background. Like I said, it's just because one or two people ruined it for everybody. And we still have people... Received a port, they did. But, even uh, beyond that still, uh, what is it? Even beyond that, like, people still... Oh yeah, it's exactly like it. And we're all, and we're all full-grown adults, too. But, like, three people ruined her, buddy. And the shit about it is, after that, we still have people on their phones all day. And we get, we get, I... We tell our managers who go talk to corporate and say, hey, this employee of mine is on their phone constantly. I would like to take the for action. And corporate says, and, corp and corporate says, no, no, you can't do that. They do something in the big in the company. You can't punish them. We had one woman who was who I reported to for a lot of my work. At where I work for until like the last week and she was on her phone 80% of her work day and basically would be running out of the office with work with work for me because with work for me to do because she didn't she didn't realize she had backed up work so far and now there's so many and there's so much uh now there's so much work on the table because she didn't get it to us in time so we're running around 10 minutes, 10 minutes till everybody leaves for the day. Hi, Mama Jelly. We were running around 10 minutes till we leave for the day, and she comes flying out. Oh, this stuff has to be, has to be, has to be put, has to be available for everybody else in the morning before you leave for the day. Really, bitch? Oh, I need to oil. I need to oil my chair, or be nicer to my chair. One of the two. I still need to have maps where I can have Lind out so she can get her silvers. Magic advantage. Volcanoes. Well, actually, let's let's take a quick moment here. I'm gonna take a quick moment, and I'm gonna do the thing where I sell weapons to level up others. That's cute. I don't want it anymore. No, I don't want that. And get rid of the legendary lance, because if I try and if I try and do optimized equipment, it's just gonna be like, lol, did you mean equip it on this character that has their that has their personalized weapon? Ah uh, yes, this is axe, which is literally an axe of light. Which means do that. I would unequip that from her. Because she's just the healer still. Sure Alright. I gotta go back to the convoy. Uh, you put a suggestion somewhere at some point, didn't you? Hold on. Oh, the whole name color. I'd have to integrate Twitch with Discord, find a way to do that, and I don't have an easy way to do that. I would have to manually do that. 
but I currently don't have a lot of time to do that at the moment. Keep my, like, it's been there, and it's something I thought of, but it's just been a lot of, I can't do it right now because I'm working a full-time job and doing this and editing videos and making sure my family doesn't get mad at me because now I don't live with them, so they think I'm a social recluse. <laughs> Uh, Lissa, you have your axe, and Lissa, you get to keep one thing from this axe. It is topsy turvy. Like that, I got. I now have to. What is it? Just to. Because I don't like to divulge family problems a lot, but this isn't really a huge one. I didn't hear my phone ring at all, so now tomorrow, as as tomorrow, as soon as I wake up or even on my way to work, if he's available, I gotta call my dad back and say, "Hey, I didn't hear my phone ring at all last night because it's on vibrate. Sorry, I missed your dinner invitation. If it was for last night. Oops. Nope. Nope. Not higher." Hey, there's only three more characters left. All thing is, I care about my family and they care about me, but there's a lot of stuff we do not meet eye to eye on. We like a lot of times growing up, my dad did construction stuff and was constantly working on something around the house, whether it was broken and need fixed or not. Me, I despise construction in its purest form. I barely own a hammer to do handyman stuff around this apartment. That's how much I hate construction work. And we would butt heads on it constantly because, especially when I was in my late teens, you know, that time when, hey, four o'clock in the morning is a, isn't a good time to go to bed, right? We would constantly butt heads because he'd want to be up at eight o'clock uh, demolishing a building and rebuilding the wall for it when, I, when I'm trying to be, live my life and yada yada. But I think we finally come to understanding, I think we've come to mutual understanding that he's... He's slow, like, my dad has slowed down, realized that life's not all busy, 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 and he's understand my way of life, and I've understood, and I've picked up on his where, I picked up on his thing of, if you're working on something, finish working on it. But we both understand that we haven't totally adapted each other's lifestyles. <laughs> Uh, being honest, I had a similar issue to that a while ago as well. What? I won't. Yes, sir. Roger. Like it was a lot worse. Growing up, it was a lot worse with it. Like Good to go. my dad borderline bullied me growing up because of the fact that I was so lax. Right But it's gotten a lot better now, and I think we're at least I think we're at least on agreeing agreeing to disagree terms. Of course, who knows what's gonna happen now when I call him tomorrow. He might he might go full asshole on me. Oh, that's oh my. I'm not gonna do anything about that, but Let's just leave that as the most volatile part of that discussion. Ugh. And something I should say. 
Like, it seems bad for a while, but then you look back at your coke and go, okay, that's why I had to do X. That's why I do Y. That's, that, that, there's no justification for what happened up there, by the way, Mama Jelly, but no justification for what he made you do. But I will say, like, it's, it's going to suck. And until you can get to a point where you can get yourself out and on your own, sometimes your parents won't understand anything until that happens. I moved out, and, my, and I moved, I told my dad I was moving out, and a week later, if the gravity at all finally hit him, that I was actually going to go through with it. And he got very belligerent. He got very belligerent about it one night. And I think now that he realizes that I'm not there, he can't be a dick to me because I can literally say, you know what? No, I'm not dealing with it right now, and I can and I can just stop the conversation right there, walk away, and not have to deal with it. I think he's realized he doesn't have control over what I do anymore. And I've been I've been wanting to move out for so long, but I didn't have it. Oddly enough, this is something I thought was going to come up tonight. We call it a weird pr uh, premonition, but here's something I will lay down for you guys who are thinking about moving out that needs some like building blocks to work off of. Is if you're ever thinking about if you're ever thinking about moving out for any reason, you gotta think about what you have to get in order for your life before you can achieve that goal. For me, it was paying off my credit card that I had an eight thousand credit limit that was kind of cornering me where I was. Or that was at eight a grand in debt with. That was my ultimatum to get out of my situation. But if you're looking to, but I will say if you're also looking to straight up move out, yeah, that's what I was gonna get to. Like I struck gold. This place I'm in right now. This was the luckiest break you could somebody could get that was looking to move out. At least for what it costs me for rent each month. Uh, I won't talk specifics because when you start talking specifics about money and when you're doing something in this creative medium, people get people get think it's a sap story and they and then some people get offended and some people come rushing to your aid and donate money and all that jazz. Yada yada. You get the you get the picture now. I don't want to so that I don't want to go into that. What you have to think is, of course, depending upon what your current diet your current diet is and how much you think you'll eat, and what you think you'll eat, you'll have to factor that in. But if you're looking to if you're looking to move out, you gotta think you gotta think what do you pay now? Depending upon where you are, you gotta factor in the average rent, which for me was about 500 bucks for a place like where I am. So I struck out and got something for about 100 less. Again, not saying actual numbers or specific numbers. Then you got to figure based on your diet. Okay, I eat this much, so I need to set this much aside each month for food as well. I don't spend that much, but I told myself, okay, if I budget, I got to budget three hundred dollars for food per month. And, and and I will say like because you know I'm still working like I said I'm still working a nine to five job and doing all this social media stuff on top of what I do. You sometimes have to take jobs that you don't really want to do and compromise some things to make what you want to be happen happen. I've learned to actually like my job in a warehouse, but. I did not want to take a job in a warehouse. I wanted this to be my job where I make my big my big Google bucks. And I eventually I was like, no, it's, that's not going to happen. I have to get an actual job and then work on this inside and eventually it will come around.
Now that, that's a thing. That's one thing right there. That's one thing I can't vouch for or give, or give, a or come at at a point, place of knowledge from, is I'm not making you feel bad, Mama Jelly. I want to point that out first and foremost. I don't have any, as far as my knowledge, I don't have any mental or health issues. So I can just do whatever I want, however I want to get myself done. Hi, uh, night, Eddie, I think that's a good night message. <laughs> but... Um... Continuing my story. Come on, Brink. You can do it. Oh, I already got the 2,000. Well, minusly slashing. I've, I've gotten the uh, what I need. Oh, okay. Sorry. I don't know. Some people just put. Some people do just put icons saying bed. Me go bed. You take nap now. Um. Okay. So strong. Yeah, cyber security or government that oof. Definitely with how the current government is going, that is gonna be rough. I mean, if you can get it, cool, but you, were a worthy opponent. you never know. You might find your, you might find out that you, you might find out that you like that, um, you that you would enjoy a job that you, or that you would be a pretty good grease monkey or something like that. I don't know. When you say security, I, I'm assuming you mean cyber security. Which, yes, in this day and age, that paints a big target on your back. Because if you, like, if you fuck up something in the infrastructure, you personally... If you personally fuck up the infrastructure, you have a target on your back for your boss. If you fuck up... If you fuck up, don't fuck up the infrastructure, but you somehow get data leaked out because of a loophole so a hacker found... Then you've got the entire country on your ass. Cat22. I think we've hit tired scooter hours where I'm not as I'm not as weird, I'm not as wacky. I'm speaking philosophically, so this is probably the best time to ask dumb questions. another thing that's another thing that's kind of that's kind of become gonna become a fun topic of conversation and probably in the next within the next six months for me is forgive me for talking personally about this matter but I personally right now I have no desire to seek someone romantically until I get my life in order and it's like every time I visit my parents or talk to my parents in the last year, they've been like, so where's the girlfriend? It's just like, okay, you're just, no, stop. The more you do it, the less enticed I am to do, to, to, to pursue that path. Ugh. 
Uh, okay, it's just a yellow. Holy shit. Fuck it. Um, but yeah, like, that was kind of an issue I had, too. I, I dated a girl, like, back in my college days when I wasn't ready. I was still very, like, I, still like I am right now. I was very much young bachelor mentality lifestyle and didn't want to be anchored to anything. And then I eventually let her go because just because I knew because I was just brushing her off to do what my own thing is like. Okay, I'm just hurting her. I'm not helping anything. I need to. I need to let her go so she can actually be with somebody that will take care of her. Take care of her. Yes, Belzark. There we go. So. Yeah, that that happened at one point, and I haven't talked to her. Uh, since that point but I definitely know she is much happier now than she would have been with me if I had still been with her but still been like you know I'm doing my own thing go away kind of mentality Yeah, this one's not tiny. This one's full size. Can't win this. This sport will not fall. I don't know. I wish I could answer it, but it's just like... It's just the fact that... It's just... We do this stuff. We're dumb like this. But then, even then, there's still some people that are just like... Oh. Michael Smith, thanks for following up. You came into a heavy topic. <laughs> But, like, I guess I'm not as much of a selfless person anymore. Like, I do stop, for the most part, I do stop whatever I'm doing, take care of stuff. The thing that kicked us off, the whole fact that I missed my phone call from my father, not so good. But, like, I've stopped, like, I now will stop just about everything I'm doing to handle whatever request has made of me. I mean, I, I will also add to that, Mama Jelly, that, you know, we, a lot of, both genders have, have examples from each gender that we can't fucking understand and we can't do the math on. Like, there's some girls, they're out there and loyal, they're snatched up already. The ones that we're left to pick from, they're... <laughs> oh, god damn it, guy. Um, but, like, there's still, like, there's girls out there who say they want, they want a loyal man, they get a loyal man, and then they go off and find a not loyal man, cheat on, cheat on, with a, that, that whole thing, I'm not going to divulge into it, you already know that story that happens, never happened to me, but it is something that has happened to people. There's just some people, no matter the gender, that are pretty shitty people and can't commit. I've at least come forth and said said right away, it's just like, yo, 
I the I said you know brain says brain says yo my brain says hey yo uh you or what is it fuck I've already messed up I'm very tired still brain brain says boy I don't want to do this relationship thing. Society says, boy, you have to do this relationship thing. At least I came out and said, hey, I'm not into this right now. I can't. And I still say that. But now I but now instead of being selfish and just wanting to do whatever it was I was into Instead of being selfish and wanting to do nothing but play a World of Warcraft every day, now my thought process is, I'm not going to let some woman deal with my burdens that I've built up here being fucking stupid. I'm going to handle them, then I'll, then I'll consider getting into the market. That's what I was going to say. Because trying to fit into roles and whatnot and f deal with other people's ideologies and the fact that I thought I, I was going to be forced to go to college and apparently I didn't have to. I learned after the fact that I dropped out of college. Like, learning that and it was just like I didn't have to go to college. Like, oh great. So now I've got this, oh, I got this 10 grand, 10 grand plus student loan built up that I didn't even have to get because you were expecting me to go get it. Thanks. Thanks for that. This is of course me talking to my parents. <laughs> Anyway, I think this, I think there's a good chance. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we good? Computer, you okay now? Sorry about that. Like my computer, or my computer, or something died. So I dropped a lot of frames there. Uh, you can ask a random question. Um, if it's a little too personal, I might not answer it. Just have that knowledge out there. No, I have not, and you can give me a brief synopsis on what it is, but there's a good ch like, being, also being honest with you, good chance I might not check it out right now unless I find myself bored one day. But what is Ravenclaw and or Raven, excuse me, Raven Black Ravenclaw, Harry Potter, what is a brief synopsis of said site? Oh yeah, I'm definitely not gonna go to that site then. Oh no, oh no, 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 oh no, 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 no. Like, I don't care if other people do it. I don't care if other people will do it. I, ugh. if you do RP, do RP. That's you. Have fun. Uh, that that can't be me though. I cannot do RP. Like. It's like one of the things that, it's one of the things that will actually make me go, uh, no. And I'm not just making it, do that for a joke. That's like almost point for point exactly what it looks like when I do it. When, when I hear about RP or people, other people doing RP. But again. Don't let one person, don't let one person who has a distaste for it ruin your enjoyment if that is what makes you happy. I've always, that's kind of how, like over the last three or four years, I think that's kind of how my personality has developed is, yo, I don't like this thing you like. 
I'm not going to tell you to stop, but I'm going to tell you flat out, I don't like it. Versus the one time I wish I was actually subscribed to Snack just so I could post Snack a cringe. Again, like I said, how my mentality has come over the last four years or so is I will tell you that I am not a fan of it, but I, there I am not going to, I'm not going to make you stop doing it because it's something you enjoy doing. I got to pop it just so I can get up here with Frederick. Oh, I got two thousand. I could probably, you know, what? I haven't used Frederick in a while. Let's let's bring let's bring Captain Muscles back out. So anyway, even though Lin is just as powerful as Frederick right now. I mean, if I can't be frank, I'm getting, I'll just, I mean, speaking frankly, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting older, I'm developing the characteristics of, of old man syndrome, but I'm also from a generation, I'm also at like the high end of a generation that's, that's been like, you know what, you just fucking do you, I'm not gonna stop you. <sighs> My name's Frank. Mama Jelly? Mama Jelly? I'm the big 3 0. I'm old McBalsy. Oh, dang, guys, give me. Gaia! Oof. Now that's a tempting thing if I remember to. Gaia! I should get. I should gift you the DLC for ra for rabbits for your birthday. Lel. Yeah, different walks of life. We're all from different walks of life, but I. Th Hi, Mecco. I saw your follow earlier. Hello. We're all from different walks of life, but I think a lot of us are still up here. We're still kind of the same thought process. <laughs> You should definitely act on it though, Gaia. That's a that's a that's a sixty dollar game plus twenty dollars plus thirty dollars DLC for forty four bucks. I think thirty five dollars DLC actually. I don't know why it says it's not gonna go. Oh, I have to go back into that map, right? More scrolls. The only problem is, 
you should do it. Consider an early birthday present to yourself, guy, if anything, unless something else is catching your eye. I'm gonna go back to that map, right? I gotta get the other scroll. What, sto uh, what store is it on? I'm gonna put this cup away. Oh, eShop, uh, I think that might be a weekend deal, aka Saturday afternoon. Oh, if it's approaching for E3, it's probably till the end of the week, so you've only got like a day or so to think about it. <laughs> In insert Rue uh, here. Dual specials, you say? Uh... Pairing up with Frederick, you say. But back on that topic, like, we're all, like, I think most of us here, like, a lot of us here are kind of like the aftermath of the hippie era to an extent. Of the people who are just like, dude, let people be people. They grew up, became hard asses, but now we're still here with the thought process of fucking just let people like stuff. Of course, we got a couple of people who look shockingly like me. Slightly overweight men with a neck beard, except I'm not wearing the matching fedora. They're just like, no, my perfect beast of the world, fuck you! Who haven't understood that their perfect little snowflake world is not gonna happen. I'm sorry, did I get real? I apologize. I'll help out where I can. Sure. Are you sure you want I don't know what's in store for us exercise caution? That's his. Unfortunately, the other part of me as well, Mama Jelly, of, of just, yo, know, stop, just, yo, know, stop being a fuck, stop being a fucking dick. I'm gonna yell at you until you stop being a fucking dick, you fucking dick. Now stop doing it. Yo, this is probably like. I should not be this sleep deprived, because it's bad for your health. But this is probably the most sleep deprived I've been in, like, since I've actually had to use a CPAP. And the fact that I'm being this mellow and chill with you guys and being as forward about conversation topics is kind of fun. Probably something I won't do constantly because nobody wants to talk about the way of the world and shit, but it's just nice that I can do it this every now and <laughs> I can do this every now and again, just kind of mellow out. Would you believe the state of mind is not coming from any form of medical marijuana or anything like that? I'm 100% sober. I just have had like. I've just been denied like 10 hours of sleep, or not like, not 10, like 20 hours of sleep this week. Curse, work, curse editing for YouTube and tw streaming on Twitch and working a 9 to 5. Oh, I would love nothing more than a comfy right now. Of course you're on the other side of the goddamn map.
I don't know. Maybe every now and again I'll stream something that's not like the like the stream game plan, which is right now Fire Emblem Warriors to catch on a backloggery. Maybe every now and again I'll just pop out a bonus stream where I just chill and talk. I could throw on an IRL stream, really. Just get rid of the green screen behind me and just sit here and talk in an IRL stream. Because IRL streams are becoming a thing. I think probably the best example of this I've given was to Ceiling, uh, Nick, wh however, you, however you prefer to have me name him, is he complains about Breath of the Wild, he has many complaints against the game, I can't win this. but the biggest one is the weapon system, and I told him, okay, but for every one weapon you break, three can take its place, you're just being too picky about what weapons there, and then I let him have his viewpoint after that. I didn't pressure him, I didn't challenge him beyond that moment. I just told him, hey, here's where your logic is a little flawed, but you have your reasons. Oh, Sakura. Holy small child. Oh, I should probably go kill Camilla, shouldn't I? Actually, I can go finish it right now. <laughs> Whoops. This is what happened. I just... Like, now it's muscle memory for the combos for both Lynn and for Frederick. To the point where I can just ramble on and uh, that, like, I'll glance at the screen occasionally. Okay. Get, get that gold edition. I can't take advantage of it because, hey, guess who bought the game physical day one? Okay, man, whenever that whenever that comes about, I'm gonna I'm gonna be super fucking pumped to to do a, my project on rabbits. Like, it just I'm not gonna say what's my next coming project, but down the road later this year, I'm going to do a project on Mario and rabbits as much of it as I can. Yeah, I'm going to bed shortly after this map is done too, at Gaia. Um, but like I. I'm planning on doing a project on Mario Rabbids because I have, I love that game, I did a 100% playthrough of that game, I know in my head the pacing I want to set for that game for each video, I have that project figured out. I just, I have to get through, I have to get, I, I'm, I'm trying to do like an every other project is blind versus knowledgeable play, let's play. Uh, okay. Yep. Good night, guy. So. Slam jam. Say let's go a little longer, but I'm already sleep deprived as it is, and uh, it's already Next past time. how long I want to stream. Stronger. I could really just switch over to IRL and mumble for a few minutes, or even leave this on mumble for a few minutes if the interest is there. But I, I think it's late for pretty much everybody as well. Anyway, um, I'm gonna do a little inventory management while I've still got you guys here. Come on, fucking Christ, Lind. Talk with people. Anyway, I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to do the inventory management stuff. Um, Did you guys have any questions that you wanted to ask me before I had things off here tonight? I always offer it because sometimes people don't get to ask the things they want to ask in the stream. It's just like, okay, bye. Also, just know, if they say 720, they're fully unlocked. Except for Lynn's book, because... 
Lynn's book, I need two more silvers. Hyrule Warriors and Switch. Um, ugh, dry mouth. <laughs> um, right now, you know what? I'll grab the amped off that actually before I sell it. Um, right now, I don't have plans. If I can find it for cheap, if I could find Hyrule Warriors for cheap, like I'm talking 40, 35, 30. Like, somewhere in that range, I might pick it up, because even though I've got the Wii U version with all the DLC, it'd be nice to have the version that has it all streamlined. Is this okay? Thanks. Um, so, but yeah, no Hyrule Warriors, uh, no Hyrule Warriors, no, no stream plan for Hyrule Warriors yet. That might be a future one. We might take a break from all the Warriors streams for a while. And work on other stuff like I put and this is gonna tie in the Neros thing here. I put on a Twitter poll. I can probably dig that poll back up if I just go into my notifications because I don't get I don't get tagged a lot lol. I'm lonely. Uh Okay, I've... Yeah. I can't find it. Yeah, I can't find it. I don't, I don't remember what all the games were on there. Like, Eddie... Just... Okay, I'm gonna be intertwining my conversation a bit here. Sorry. Eddie, um... If we... F if I start a stream for Fire Emblem Warriors and I finish a little early, I'll go Warriors for the full stream and we'll switch over to... Probably actually over to One Piece Pirate Warriors 3 just to show it off because that is on Switch right now. And I would love for more people to get that game because that's a really good Warriors game as well. But um, the Twitter poll I put up is basically, hey, once Fire Emblem Warriors is over, uh, what game should we move on to next? And I think I put... I know I put Kirby in the Rainbow Curse... I can't remember what else I put on there. But I put... Uh, Pirate Warriors 3. I'll type it in chat. I think it's the gold edition too, so it's got everything. There, like that. Um, but at the end of the poll, at the, uh, but, uh, Rayman Legends was on the poll, the Definitive Edition. I found it for 20 bucks, even though I have the Wii U version. That's, I'll argue that's probably the better version of the game. So, and that won out the poll, like, it was three votes, four votes for Rayman, three votes for Kirby, and nil votes for whatever my fourth option was. Color Splash is one of the options. I think that was a three vote option. So after this is after this series is all done, we're gonna play Color Splash. Or not Color Splash, uh, Rayman Legends. Something completely different. Okay, you're ready. Um I have not, nor do I own any of the Trauma Center games. <sighs> I probably said, just said gibberish. I also probably called somebody. A, it's probably called somebody a red pepper asshole in Celtic. <laughs> so, but I should like getting the actual cart would be a pain in the ass. So let me just here it is. So it's gonna be it's gonna be backwards. Nah, no, no Wada. I gotta go to bed here. But yeah, it's gonna be backwards because I have the webcam mirrored. But there you go. Twenty bucks. 
on sale. So that's the next thing we're touching. Also, if you have more than five Switch games, invest. All right. Um, I think I covered everything. I'm going to go into the market, see if I somehow managed to gather enough crests for Lind. Yeah, I got I got two to go. So, um, also answer questions, they pop up. But, so, to, um, no stream tomorrow night, like usual. I'll be hanging out with Lucky7DX while he streams. And he's going to be streaming Dark Cloud 1, the original, for, on PlayStation 2, unless his capture card breaks on him again. It, it has to have it, too. I'll try and tweet it out tomorrow so you guys know where I am. But Saturday, we'll come, we'll come back to this again. And between, uh, between tonight and Saturday night when we start, I'll have probably taken the time to take Lynn in with somebody, with two people she has not uh, gotten support with. Support. Do the support. Get her, get Aura ready to go. And then we'll go from there. So yeah. Saturday, 7 o'clock, Central District Time. I hope to be there on time. I really do hope. Um, Saturday during the day. Saturday during the day, I do have to go to a funeral uh, two hours away, so I might miss. I might be a little late. But it's early enough that I don't think I will. Anyway, I'm rambling. I do this when I get tired, too. Thanks for everybody coming out, being chill, and just being awesome. I'm going to see what those two clips are, by the way, whoever made them. And I'll probably end up posting it on Twitter if I like them. But you have a great night. Um, as Gaia said as she left, look into that E3 sale because a lot of great games that were announced at last year's E3 are, are out there. You don't have it already. Buy Mario and Rabbits for Gold Edition for forty-four dollars because it gets you eighty dollars worth of content for forty dollars. Actually, no, ninety-five dollars. I can't math anymore. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. <laughs>